out of my mind. I don't know. I no longer have a mind, per se. I do. I do. Well, hopefully. <laughs> south versus South. I mean, these guys have definitely played before. Razor's extremely talented. I got money on Razor in this one. Four. Oh my god, the dreaded tie. Hungry box. You know, all, all the regulars. And then Javi showing crazy skill with Fox. It was, it was amazing to watch. Once again, DM Brandon next to me on Gunblade. Bringing you, that, bringing you the end of Apex. Finishing up teams. Right now in the back, there's a Mark Fiddle tournament going on. $2 buy-in, single elimination. Uh, it's all the top marks that you can think of. And me. Uh, I just faced Leon, and it was pretty fun to get destroyed. Leon and Robin are very, very good. Very, very good with Mark. Then there's always Neo and my case, Kadaj. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, excuse me. I don't know why I said doubles. It's been a long day. But here we go, Pikachu versus Snake. Pretty annoying matchup for Snake. Isan, the best Pikachu. Razor, one of the best Snakes. Some consider him the best Snake. So far, I mean, we'll definitely see from Ally soon. Yes. Ally lost to Otori from Japan. Um, off stream, obviously. Um, in a very, very horrible set. Um, <laughs> hopefully Razor can make it a little bit closer than Ally was able to. Yeah. Tori definitely one of one of the ones not uh, offhand the high level Japanese players. We knew that he was coming, but everyone was pretty scared of the ethanol. And the Tori just came over here and started rocking everybody. The the two brothers, um, they look very similar. They have completely different play styles except for in doubles. Um, but they are both absolutely threatening. I mean, I think this is the 2012 version of Ally and Holy. Yes. It's pretty amazing. Whoa, how whoa, whoa, whoa. Does, does Ultimate use a Wiimote? Ultimate Razor does use a Wiimote and Nunchuck. He's one of, I think, three players that have, you know, that generally plays in money that use it. And that's uh, him, Terra Bear, and Logic. Yes. And Razor actually, uh, when MLG was around, he uh, had to switch to the GameCube controller. If I'm not that's mistaken. right. And MLG he still was playing really good. That just shows how much of a talented player. I mean,. Controller is so important in any game competitively, and then have to switch the whole control to be able to play and still play well. It's pretty great.
Razor setting up that C4. Esam just adding up damage. Very nice covering the edge with that thunder. So up air to Nair. Esam keeping the pressure on. I'm always very impressed with Esam's movement. Yes. He, he's just always where he should be. As shown as he's almost over an entire stock on Razor, which is a very difficult feat. Esam has complete control of his character and with his intelligence, it makes it for a really hard fight in this match. Razor looking for the down throw. Oh, Into the wow. Line. <laughs> Very nice by Razor, but he has a, a little bit of a hill to climb right now. And an even bigger one now as he's down a stock. Full stock this time. And ooh, try not to get caught with the grenade, yeah. going for the chain grab. Waited a little bit too long, and Razor was able to break out. Good grenade placement. It seems like Razor's really starting to adapt, but I mean, this late in the first game, I think Esam's going to have to take this one. Razor's just trying to camp a little bit. Get some free damage with grenades. As both the players blow up. Esam with an edge guard opportunity. Very nice follow up wow, down there. Quick 60 damage. Esam's so slippery. Razor has having a hard time getting a good hit in on him. Oh. That's a good attempt right there by Esam with that down there. I don't understand how he was able to avoid all of that. <laughs> Razor on blast here. That's a very smart move by Esam. Putting the Thunder Wall up, Razor didn't want to get hit and put him in a bad position. Esam, very uncharacteristically, doesn't perfectly land his up B. Yeah, Razor's going to take advantage of that every single time. Jump canceling that up B. Very important for Pikachu, keeping it safe. Esam with a two-stock game one. Razor's not looking good right now. Now, Genes, the MLG champion's up there. He's giving him as much information as he can. I don't know. I think Razor, Razor looks a little spooked. Yeah, and like I said, it's a very annoying matchup, Pikachu versus Snake. Yeah. It's just you're scared the whole time it's Snake for the chain grab, and then Pikachu's flying all over the place. It's quite annoying. At least it's not Brawl Minus. Yes. This matchup would have gone very differently. Yeah. That's not true. It would have gone much worse. Yeah, that's <laughs> Nairo shows with Pikachu and Minus. But yeah, as uh, Razor really wants to concentrate on setting a wall up in front of Pikachu, characters like Lucario and Mark can put a wall in front of Pikachu, and it makes it very hard for Pikachu to get in and get damage in. Razor has to concentrate on having that grenade wall in front of him, maybe a C4 on the platform, right. and then be ready with the up tilt or the F tilt and respond like that. That's really what Razor has to do. I'm surprised at this counter pick. I mean, you're giving Esam a lot of moves, a lot of room to just. Yeah, you're right, especially with the transformations, a lot of platforms for him to mess with and, and pressure shield He's from under. Gimmicky and strange. Nice pivot grab right there. Razor rolling out of there. He doesn't want to box Pikachu. Oh, a missed grab right there. Good read by Razor. He knew that roll was coming. Went for the stick. I didn't get it though. Nice back air by, by Esam. Oh wow, barely missing that sweet spot at Thunder. Doesn't quite go low enough. <laughs> Funny when you don't see the animation and how it should. Now uh, on their trip up here, um, what kind of matches do we see Razor play in? Uh, as of right now, you mean? Yeah, I mean uh, on his on his trip through winners, I mean ultimately into losers. Well, um, I'm actually not sure who, who he's faced throughout the tournament. I, really I was actually very surprised to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was actually 
Very surprised to know that he was still in the bracket. Excuse me. Well, this tournament was extremely hard. Uh, a lot of people were were saying like their predictions when it came to who they think might win. I don't think anyone even got four of the four of the eight. Yeah, and uh, they were saying about Ally, for example. They said, "Oh, Snake might not be able to do it with all the Olimars and and the highly skilled Meta Knights as Esam's shield is on life support." <laughs> and the thunder blows up the grenade. That's a shame. He was trying to just get away for a little while to let his shield recover and in turn wind up killing himself. But Razor Snake uh, is making it through these hard matchups. Uh, that's just a testament to the player that he is. Now, Esam trains a lot with MVD from yes. Florida. MVD is definitely the best Snake main down there. Did very well with the tournament. Yes. Um, but. Razor's probably not going to have a ton of Pikachu practice, at least not at this level. Yeah, it's it, Pikachu is kind of far in, in between when it comes to people who main the character. He's yeah. not really a pick-up-and-play character. Uh, Pikachu takes a lot of practice, actually, to be good with. Uh, as we see, like, Esam and, I guess, Kane Prime are very skilled Pikachus, but there's only a handful of people who play the character and Indeed. play it well. Uh, playing it well, I think, is even less than a handful. Yeah. My hand is definitely just wide open and it's balancing perfectly. <laughs> a palm full. Now, Snake, on the other hand, especially, you know, back in the old days for Brawl, I mean, we see a lot of Snake. A yes. lot. But Snake is starting to get figured out more and more as the time goes on. Get him in the air, press record for combo footage. That's, yeah. that's pretty much the whole match. Yeah, and a lot of people aren't falling for a lot of the tech chase tricks anymore. It's getting harder and harder for people to get those reads with with Snake because people are more patient even when they're in bad positions against the character. Huh. Quite an annoying sequence. Oh wow. <laughs> this must be driving Razor crazy right now. At least it's not Young Link. Yes. <laughs> It'll only be for a few more seconds. Esam's just trying to keep his lead, make sure that he has stage positioning, keeps map control. He's got it. He's going to lose it now because, I mean, the snake is wide open. And Reese of Dodge lands a sweet spot at up tilt. Razor taking, taking Esam down to his last stock. Good up tilt right there. Just to make the read on the dodge. But couldn't get it. Glide toss to Pikachu. Oh, and nice Razor survives. Didn't even momentum cancel. Whoa, tricky guy. Oh, lands a back air. Razor lit it. <laughs> Misses the edge, doesn't get the text, winds up killing himself. I mean, either way, he was going to die, so at least go for it. But Yeah, he could have DI'd at that distance into the stage. Oh, no, easily. He, yeah, I think he was afraid of the F smash hitting through the edge because Pokemon Stadium's edges are a little weird. You, some attacks can go through the edge and hit from under. I think he might have been wary of that. It's a windmill of death it's on on the board. If both players get in there and look for huge damage. All right, here we go. No, it disappears. Fortunate for one of the combatants that somebody was going to get get rocked. Very nice jab to re-grab right there. The power shield on the Nair. Oh, oh, very nice jab turnaround up to and Razor takes game two. What an adjustment. He seems looking a little stressed. And Ultimate Razor looks pretty much the same as they did after game one. <laughs> yeah, he he really had to work for that win. It was not much. an easy one. Now on the left there, you'll see MVD. MVD, probably the best snake main in Florida. Um, of course, then ESAM, Ultimate Razor, and then Genes, the winner of the MLG Championships last year. Very and prominent. For the game three, a little update on what's going on. Uh, next I'm hearing is ADHD and the Ethanol coming up. Very exciting. Yeah. What? Yes. Yes. No, no, it's switching.
reach after every game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we Timmy. have a... Timmy. We have a little technicality um, that MVD was actually asking about. It's pretty smart. Esam is going to counterpick port. He put his... This is, this is interesting because what happens in Brawl, it, for some reason there's a glitch. If you are in a grab and two people are affected by the same damage, the same attack, yes. it only generally will affect the highest or the lowest port player in terms of knockback. They'll both take the damage, but one player will gain map control. Now, the only, play, the only character in the game that truly affects this in singles is Snake because of all the explosions. Yes. What's interesting is PD from Long Island made a point that Snake should be on the tier list twice. Oh. Once above Falco with Fort, and once below Falco without Fort. Yeah, because it really makes a huge difference. It's an extraordinary difference. We're going to see if it plays out in Game 3. Now, Esam has fourth Fort, which means if e either one of them initiates a grab, and see that grenade right, right there? there guys. Razor went in the air, Esam stayed on the ground. How did that even happen? Like, how, did, <laughs> how did these things come about? Oh, that was very nice. That, pit, that pivot grab right there. He was just sliding. You couldn't even see the turn on that. Very nice by you. Razor putting up the wall. Explosives everywhere. Esam has to figure out a way to get in. Now Razor chooses to approach. Oh, that down smash hit him. A little weird place. Oh, pivot grab. Catch the fan. Now, I kind of like this stage choice for uh, ESAM because the platform can mess up uh, C4 placement and grenade placement as it tilts back and forth. And also, uh, Black Waltz, the ghost right there, which <laughs> is a little joke from the New Jersey area. Uh, oh, nice up smash to Thunder. Black Waltz act, um, plays a pivotal role in recovery. Indeed he does. The ghost we've nicknamed Black Waltz after a tournament in 2008 in which a player, Black Waltz, was saved with one Pikmin left on his Olimar by that ghost when, after he was off the bottom of the screen. Um, a very prominent player at the time, Chillin, had already put his controller down and walked away you know, celebrating his victory. When Black Waltz realized that he had been saved, he dived back for his controller, called his Pikmin to him, and won the game. Yeah. And, well, we're probably not going to see much of that in this game. The, <laughs> camping as Pikachu in this map, because of the positional, uh, the position of the middle platform, allows him just freedom of movement around the entire map at almost any time. Um, I can't possibly imagine what Razor banned. Yeah, and as Esam gets the chain grab in, this is free damage. For Esam, that's the nightmare of this matchup right there. And now Snake is at 120, and an even bigger hole than he was before. <laughs> so up there, out of there, I think he was planning to try to kill him with that. <laughs> nice. The advantage for Snake, as I'm seeing on the top platform, well, the middle platform of the stage. You really can't see the C4 on top of the platform when both players are on the base level. See, you can't see the C4. It's right above, uh, on the left side of the platform. But when both players are on the even playing field, you can't see it. That adds a lot of misdirection and uh, stealth for a lot of Razor's attack. And here's another chain grab. This is not good for Razor. He's mashing B, I know, to get a grenade out. But perfect buffering by Esam makes that impossible for Razor. Here's a chain grab, 104, and Razor is done. Razor kind of just gave up yeah. at the end there. Just realized he missed his jump, hit the wrong button. He's not doesn't even look that mad. I think he knows he was yeah. a little bit outplayed. Now, 